Hey guys, and welcome to more Pillars of Eternity Dead Fire with me, Super Uh Last time out, what did we do? Well, we went to uh, Hisongo, that island that we wanted to go to, uh, that was in the main quest line. And what did we find out there? Well, we found out that there were a lot of Nagas who destroyed something, uh, the town, because the Adra Pillar went down. Uh, they killed just about everybody. But we managed to recontact the Adra Pillar and get everything sorted out. So it was fine. Um, then we went back to Nekataka and found that there were more Nagas underground with a dragon. And we made sure that dragon stayed just where it was. So this time out, what are we doing? Well, we've got uh, apparently a dangerous tribe to contact. Uh, who could be very good allies for us. But could also uh, kill us all before we get a chance to even speak to them. So I guess we'll see <laughs> what happens there. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, far less side quests available. Um, but before I do that, one thing I want to do is go onto my ship's deck. Because I want to speak to some members of my party who it would appear I haven't uh, been spending enough time talking to they'll all have their own little side quests that we haven't thought about picking up yet I feel like without that we're missing a huge chunk of what we could possibly be doing so who have we got on the decks Oswald Bubble pot, no. Aethys was too busy kicking over islands to blunt his teeth with mortals. What say? You must take something from all this idle chatter with the gods. Well, he was more curious about me than I was about him. Things he did not. For what does he listen to you then? The gods I know are tight of lip and hard of hearing. He might be worried about how we interpret his actions. He has inhabited a giant body and drained the souls of thousands. Can he be anything but committed? Well, that's true. Imagine the inner workings of a god. Neither can I. I am not meant to. It is for mortals to flail in the darkness, I say. I felt that before. No desire to feel it again. To be worshipped. To have others interpret your design. It is not fair, I say. For what should God worry about such cares? When theirs is the hand on the tiller. Maybe they worry because their hands on the tiller here. They did not always doubt themselves. At some time, they felt certain. Yeah, early on, probably. Grow. When they took they their godlike like the powers. Holding Aora in place, I say. At least Aethys has you to keep him in check. Well, what happens I don't know if I can really do much to keep him in check. Something for future Takehu to worry about. True. Let's surrender to this sensation. I stand in the Grand Hall underwater and cloaked in oppressive shadow. Pillars of coral and bone reach up to support a ceiling that must be hundreds of fathoms away. Chandeliers lit with bioluminescent globes dangle from long ropes, swaying in languid tentacular motions. At the farthest end of the hall sits Andra, as tall as a castle keep, and leaning forward in her throne, she's adopted the head of an anglerfish and regards me with its globular stare. Her sickle-shaped jaw opens and closes in a rictus of conflicted emotions. Scratch under the wet clay of any artist and you hatch a lifetime of fear and doubt. She props her chin in her fist and studies Takehu with a sigh. My boy doesn't fear the gods. He only fears what he'll compromise by living up to his potential. But isn't it easier to let sculptures represent you? Well, you? maybe. Nothing he does could disappoint me. She pulls away with a wet slapping sound. I receive the mental impression of a wink. He's got an uncertain smile. Well, thanks for that conversation. Let's be off. Kierger, galley on this tub ain't half bad, he says. Irena, ahoy, Captain. Fine sailing, aye? Aye, why not? Who's that? You think he could get away from my conversation? Grim Cauldron. He hums happily. Seems like my crew are generally happy. Let's see who's up here. There's Seraphon. You be boring a hole in me with them eyes, Captain. 
I'd offer an oval for your forts, but uh, I prefer not to make deals I ain't got no intention to keep. I know things could have gone better on Sayuka, okay, but it could have gone worse. I'd be fine, actually. Strange though it be. Well, if you want to talk, I'm here to listen. I'm not sure there'd be much to say. Uh, let me see. I mean to tell the Consuelo, Consuelo about the slaving. Much as I hate an honest word, some truths ain't for burial at sea. And exactly right. All, Cap, I'll be right glad to be serving with you. Yeah, well, I try to do the decent thing as much as possible. Not always possible. Little Luca, not quite like the open ocean. And that mariner's saluting me. Captain Maya's Ford. here. What's on your mind? You've spoken to Aethus, which means you know what we're up against. If I the do. fleet sailed up to him and fired every cannon at once, I imagine we'd have a fighting chance <laughs> at taking a chip off his <laughs> Yeah, that's hand. probably true. I don't think you'd do much damage. There's no stopping him, is there? Um, I'm not ruling out the chance of an unlikely solution. Oh, no, that's a no? Quite possibly. <laughs> I suppose there's a certain appeal to recognizing the inevitable. We don't have to waste our breath trying to stop it. Well, it's up to us to mitigate the damage as much as possible. Reason can penetrate the green boy's head better than bullets can. It reminds well, me of the first hopefully, because I don't think there's much else I can do. Well, after this. There he stood, a pirate captain barking orders from the forecastle, out of everyone's range but mine. Uh, the wind toyed with us. Shooting up somebody in the distance. Shot, then I felt this awareness, like someone out there was aiming me. A cannon blast Possibly. took me by surprise. I squeezed off a shot, expecting it to fly wide. And she but killed him. The bullet took my target between his eyes. I don't know if Barrett kicked open a door or the Sky Mother held my hand, but that man was meant to die. I've got mm. that same feeling now. Better or worse, I know that Aethys is meant to succeed. Yeah, well, time will tell if him getting what he wants is good. I didn't take the wind out of your sail. Whether or not we can change anything, at least we can say we were there. That's more than most people get. True. And Beodul, the helmsman, he asks if I need something. I'm not sure that need something is a term that people in this game should be using. Need something? They can say whatever they like. <laughs> Okay, let's, ch let's chat to the people below decks, because we don't do this, and I feel like it's a good idea to do this just now before we continue on our storyline quest. Vela, she's humming happily. And then we've got Zoti. Are you okay? Yeah, we needed to continue this for the Lantern of Gone quest. She's sweating, and her eyes are hazy. Oh. It's nothing but awakened terror. Soon to pass. Okay. Want to talk about it? Now there's no need for that. Unless you Unless see what? those shambling corpses too. Uh, I don't. There's nothing around. Trouble is, she can't well, see them, but she's trying to save all these spirits. Hoped. You think I'd have learned by now? Hope's just a false lie. Because she's just trying to send people without realizing whether they're there or not. I see a body of stitched together parts and flayed flesh. Mm. It's got three heads and four stretched limbs. On each there's, of its heads, there's definitely something not right with her. <laughs> from above three blind eyes. Yeah. The beast that's not as big as a mountain. That's not a good sign. Us beneath the sun turned black as Maybe we shouldn't take her with us for a little while. <laughs> I know it ain't really there. Lately. Well, that's a good thing, at least. Some it's a shame that she has to see it. And shaken. Other times, I'm already awake. I think that lamp might be causing some problems. Staring down the darkness. Watching that lantern, you know. After another flickering out. She's taking in all sorts of souls into it. And every soul looks so ripe. Darn near rotten with a need for reaping. Oh, I see. We can relight the lanterns of hell given enough time. All is not lost. I sure hope you're right, Watcher. Because if you're wrong, no. I know you're right. Gone's chosen me. So I really want her to be on our side. Me. 
I'll do my darndest to help you on your path. We'll figure this out together. Right. Is there anything we can do to alleviate your nightmares? I'm carrying more souls than I've ever shepherded before. So, I don't know that it'll work this time, but used to be. When the dreams were riding me hard... You cleanse your soul before gone. Soul before gone. If we stop Kneel the before gone. Nekitaka, I can perform the ritual. Please, I need the relief. It won't take more than a minute under the statue. Well, we could possibly go there. We're right next to Nekitaka as it stands. Is there uh, something Palagina. you only have to ask? What's your opinion on what's happening with Aethys? Even if he has taken a special interest in you. I doubt he is any less mad than I predicted. Oh, you're probably right. <laughs> the other gods will consider your debt to them fulfilled. Merla, all of it. Yeah, you're probably this right. Just the same as before, no? The gods are playing their games and leaving us to settle the wager. Very much so. We need to find a way to turn the tables on them, you and I. What happened with you and Menea? She turns in my direction. Ah, you know. <laughs> Menea was a good companion and a skilled warrior. But her imagination got the better of her. It appears to have gotten the better of you as well. Okay, never mind then. She's not interested in any kind of conversation. Ahoy, Captain. Fine sailing. There's Shatupek, who we saved at the beginning of the game. And Eld Engram, who we've saved. Constantine. He wonders what Pa's up to. Greetings again, Captain. Do ah. you require my expertise? What do you make of our journey? Limit to excitement. Curiosity. I cherish the opportunity to explore. To test my wits against ancient ruins and vicious wildlife. Most ships discourage such avocations. <laughs> okay. Well, nothing to talk to her about right now. Thank There's Aloth. Thank you for maintaining my story in front of Vanessa and the others. I didn't enjoy deceiving them, but it seemed simpler than the alternative. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping a lie is never simple, you should know that better than anyone. Believe me, I take no pleasure in duplicity. What exactly were you doing out here? After we parted, I set out to destroy the leaden key. It's controlled us for too yeah. long. I wanted to free We Kithi did a good it. job of doing most of it. So for five years I've been tracking down leaden key circles, searching for the places where they operate in secret and tearing them down. Trying to undo them. And how you've been getting on with that? The task has been more difficult than I anticipated. How so? I don't think I fully understood the <laughs> weight of the decisions I would have to make. I think I he's going to want me to help him take down some group. It was much easier when I only had to follow someone else's lead. My father's, Theos's, yours. Yeah. You had a sense of purpose, don't lose it. After we defeated Theos... I thought the hard part of undoing his work would be tracking down the Leaden Key's members and operations. But, what Perhaps happened? this would be easier with an example. I went Please to do. a village in Old Avalia. A run-down backwater river place. I right home like it was. <laughs> uh, centuries ago, the Leaden Key had intervened to end some heretical cult. Uh-huh. The details were lost, but what had endured was a practice of ritual bloodletting. A gruesome, pointless tradition. Absolutely. At every full moon, the villagers would feed the soil. My the word. Moon. No one, young or old, sick or hale, was exempt. And what did you do? The village priest administered the practice. Grim old fellow. Reminded me of Theos. Wicked old Bonebag. Tis with the lad means. <laughs> he was that voice tired. inside his head. I was certain that if the villagers were free of his influence, they'd be free from the bloodletting too. So I arranged for him to have an accident. <laughs> an accident? And then? The old man died. And then? And the villagers were terrified. They were convinced his death was an ill omen. Well, you know. It, and <laughs> every other their whole lives were ill omens. Their lack of faith. So they began bloodletting every week. Oh, God. Turning on their neighbors for giving too little. Instead of a handful dying each year, a few perished. A few perished week. weekly. And now you feel responsible? I had to do something, didn't I? Hmm. 
I keep wondering what I might have done differently, or how I could have known better. Uh, well, I, I don't, I, you know. Don't have an answer for that, I'm afraid. At least I'm in good company. Thank you. It's a relief to share this burden. You've given me a lot to think about. But you haven't told me what the Adamancers had ah, to do with it. Lad. I'm looking for an old leaden key sect. Ah, now I we find it. Several references, but I want to be sure. Uh, please let me go over my notes again. Then I promise I'll tell you everything. Sure, we'll talk more later then. Sounds fair. I dare. Dawn stars. I wondered if we'd run into them down here. There's someone I used to hmm. know. Just a, an old friend. Uh, Adair's looking for someone. Here to settle with them last I heard. Maybe we should ask around. See if she's still out here. You're Maybe she can help us. Eager to see her, but try to hide it. Why? All right, all right. We, we used to, uh, you know, play cards together. <laughs> she was real loud too. Used to have to cover her mouth or she'd get the dog. <laughs> you could have stopped a few room. sentences ago. I get the picture. I knew you'd understand. You're gonna like her. I got a good feeling. Right, well, where is she? Find someone who might know Edder's friend. And that's Shield, St Shield Sister Dahlia. Venizzi? I think we've spoken to everyone on the ship now. Engram. Uh, yeah, I think we have actually spoken to every single person on the ship. I'm just wondering if there's any other if we should change up our party a little bit because we haven't since the beginning just alter some people that are in their group or maybe we'll just leave it as it is we've got something to do to turn in a mission for let me just take a quick look uh, how do I get to the party management on here I wonder I think we have to do it in another location. Okay, so... Shoti needs to go to somewhere that's like right next to where we are. So if we're here, we may as well do it. And then we'll go on and do the... main... But let's just take a quick look. So. In terms of missions, because here we've got the side quests for our teammates. Someone in the Children of the Dawn Stars might know Edder's friend. Uh, deliver these missives, that's something else. And Aloth's going to tell us about something later on. Um, in the meantime, let's go to the Temple of Gon. Because Shoti thinks it might help her feel better about herself or whatever. So yeah, why not? If it'll clear her her situation up, then can't do any harm, right? Unless she's taken on some kind of horrendous spirits inside her lantern that we have to fight or something. But we'll just, you know, we'll get on with it. Get on with it. Standing talking to a lot of people is kind of dull, I suppose, as well, so... Okay, Temple of Gon. So you're the commander. Here's where I do the ritual. Iron flame? Right there under the statue Were you of Gon. To enlist? I didn't want that. How do I so how do I go under the thing or whatever? Hungry? Come on up. Don't be shy. I'll give you a donation. God will bless you for so how do I Ah oh, there we go. Shorty's gonna cast her, cast her gaze to the side. Nothing like a homecoming to make a girl remember her roots, even if they are dried up and half dead. Sometimes okay, well, I give it a my shot. brethren don't think I got black ichor running in my veins. People often fear what they don't understand. I suppose they do. I suppose sometimes people do bad things in the name of their gods. Absolutely. But my brethren do more good than bad, and more good than most. Besides, fair enough. I often don't understand you, Watcher, but I ain't afraid of you. Good, that's reassuring. Is it? Sakes alive. 
Maybe. You shouldn't be so fine to me, Watcher. It makes me think untoward things. Yeah, if try not to get those. I don't need to be getting. I can't risk straying when I got a duty to gone. <laughs> we came here to cleanse your soul. Alright. Yeah, I'm ready. I've done this. Okay, so it could be an intense experience. She kneels before the statue and sets her lantern between her knees. A low chant lilts from her lips as it grows louder. The light from her lantern grows blight blighter. <laughs> as does the lantern. The statue of God holds in one skeletal hand. Uh, what is this? The two lights pulse in rhythm with the chant resonating with each other. Twin heartbeats that pound faster and stronger until the light from Gon's lantern bursts outward in a shower of violet-hued rays. The essence bathes Jyoti's bent form, making her jolt upright uh, as a cry I escapes cleaner, her. But I feel something. Blessed, for sure. Let's just hope it lasts. Because my lantern feels as heavy as ever. Full to brimming mm. with essence. Like dark water spilling over my mind. You're all about goodness and light. Why are you concerned Why with death and darkness? The God of rebirth held an aspect of death within him. Mm. You can't have life without dying. There ain't no suppose that's true. A prior ending. Ain't no day without night. Well, I don't know about the no prior ending thing, but fall. you can't grow crops if you never harvest for seeds. Cool. What's the difference between Aethys gone and Aethys? And gone is the death before life. He's the ripeness before the fall. But we know Aethys isn't dead. That lumber and hunger Audra might claim to be Aethys, but that uh -huh. doesn't matter a whit. He died, she doesn't want to believe it. So we can't be Aethys anymore. Death changes every soul, even a god's. And if it doesn't, it should. Okay. Well, let's be off then. All right. There we go. So, she has had her mission moved on. Oh, I wonder, actually. In the meantime... Is there, is there anyone here? Get enlightened. There's a lady I'm looking for. Yeah, get Ader to chat. Short, got a bad temper. It goes by Alava Mazzy. Alava Mazzy. I know an Alava, but that ain't a surname. Oh, she married. No. Not real worn that one. Stop by unannounced, you get a pistol up your nose when she answers the door. <laughs> Sounds like she's expecting you. Yeah, that's a, that, that's her. So she's living with her uh, husband, Ben. Not she married? <laughs> huh. Must be laying low. Just that boy Maybe. Of hers. Uh oh, a child. That's what she he was concerned about. Uh, how old would you say? Like a, a little boy? <laughs> I'd be happy to help you with the math. One sec, let me just check something. Sorry, I'll be back in one moment. Noise somewhere. Something the matter? <laughs> nah, just curious. He's curious. Oh, I couldn't say. It's been years. He must be a young man by now. Wow, that's uh, that's, that's something. something. Well, thanks for your help. Don't you want to know where to find her? Yeah, yeah I wouldn't mind. I was <laughs> no, he doesn't. She's in her songo. Her songo. Everyone's dead there. Guess we'll look that way then. Much obliged. Well, we might have to go to Hasongo. Although it's in completely another direction from where we're actually needing to go. Can we... It's annoying, you know, when there's a person standing where you want to go. <laughs> well, maybe we'll do this just to, to, to see if... Um, the side quest of Edir's is uh, <laughs> is interesting, and then we'll go to the other place. Okay. Now I did speak to my party members, which makes me hope that 
won't have the speech boxes above them anymore. You know how I've been saying there's nothing more important to me than us freeing you from Barith's bonds? Well, uh -huh. I meant that. I did. Oh, what's he about but to say? There's this other thing I need to see about. On the way, like. I was going to tell you. Start talking. Woman, I, uh, well, love's not the right word. She was something she to him in Gilded Vale. Once, back in Gilded Vale. Once Theos was gone, there wasn't much keeping me in Deerwood. I'd be happy in Adir. It was nice seeing them again. Been almost since the war, but I didn't. He didn't belong there. And I couldn't talk to anyone, not just because of the funny way Adirans talk. We really <laughs> swallow our food first. <laughs> nice. There, across the ocean, it's like nothing I'd been through ever happened. None of it. Not the war, not the legacy. Even my parents missed most of it. And I'm glad about that. Mm. I thought of somebody I knew I could talk to. Oh, he thought he could talk to her. Be the last person. And then he was like on the boat. Last I saw her, she was going to New Hamar. Been looking for her there, only to find that she, she left. left anyway, I don't expect you to understand. But I got Sounds like she ended up with yeah, a son. That's that's something. When I knew hmm. her, she had another little boy, just a baby. But the legacy deprived him of a proper life. I never found out what happened. I see. But with the hollow boy, we didn't have to ask. Yes, he got a brother, though. Yeah. You sure you want to know where this leads? I don't see a way to let this go. Last time I saw a lava, we got friendly. Now she's got a son. Okay. Well, let's get going then. We'll go and see if she is there. Oh, hang on. I can go... No, that way takes me to the sacred stair. I want the exit of the area. Just have those river reeds while we're there. So I'm saying what say and he's not even visible. <laughs> okay, so um we need to go to Hasongo in that case. And I'm guessing it's not the actual town, it's gonna to be somewhere outside of the town. Well, it'll be interesting to go back there now and see what it's like since the Nagas left. Or maybe they're still there. Who knows? Maybe they just waited until we'd gone and then attacked whoever was left. I'm going to assume though it's not... I'm trying to think, on Hasongo was there anything else apart from the town? Well, we'll go and have a look. So, we want to go to Hasongo first before we go to the main quest line. And there we go. Well, let's get moving. Just gonna check the the world map just to see if any of the oh yeah I could probably do with she seems to have some kind of problem I don't know what it is just trying to think if there's something that can fix the problem she's having or oh, that needs to get thrown away. Do you know what? I'm going to give her that, just out of interest. Just I want to see what happens with it. Okay, so I've given her that. I don't know if that really helps her with anything, but I felt like I would give it to her anyway. Right, let's go. Let's sail on our ship with black and red sails. We're not even overly concerned about like groups of people that might come after us. I like doing this because I can see where we're actually headed. In this case, straight to Hasongo. Okay, there's nowhere else there, so if she's there, she has to be in the town. Or around the town. So yeah, we'll go here, we'll check where she is. If she's moved on, then, well, first of all, I, I, I don't know if we want to continue chasing her. But at least it'll be something to put our minds on to after the mission. 
So yeah, on Hasongo there's only one place to go anyway. Calling people Hicks. Aethis light our path. Light of Aethis be upon you, neighbor. Are you looking for survivors? Actually, my friend's looking for someone we were told might live around here. A short lady, about my age, came from Deerwood with her son. Uh, let's see. Is that her son? Freckles, braids, usually. Punches you in the arm if she likes you, <laughs> face if not. No, that doesn't sound like anyone. Hmm. She has a son about your age. <laughs> you gotta be her son. Got her nose and her freckles. You don't have to lie to me, kid. I'm a friend of your mother's. She yeah, we're not hunting her or someone. anything. Maybe an ex-lover who gave her the best night of her life? Oh, <laughs> God. You're protecting her, we no, understand. I, I forget it. Just just tell me something. Your father, you know him? I'm sorry, who are you? Okay. Uh. Relax, he's a good man. Likes animals. Lions, bats, and Orleans, to name a few. <laughs> okay. Yes, I knew my father when I was very young. A man of strong a faith. Man of strong faith. Have to be. You get a lava mag, you never got him <laughs> for protection. He was lost to us during the purges, which was how we came to flee here. So you okay. Met. Well, that's. Uh, well, that's it was it him though? You had a dad. <clears throat> Where's your mother now? Got a lot of catching up to do. My mother is with Aethus. She's at church? I don't think you take my meaning. She passed the veil a few years ago. A flu. It's she died. possible her soul has taken a new body by now. But if she was truly blessed... She marches beside the shining, beside the shining god. god. You lied to us. Said you didn't know her. Expect me to believe this now? <clears throat> Does look like he might be alone. How can you say it so coldly? I can be so cold about it. I'm not lying. She's buried, She's buried on the other side of the, side of the hill. hill. How could she be gone? Don't be troubled by her passing. All souls that march with Aethys receive <laughs> his warmth and light. You seem confident in a god who's causing a lot of destruction. You can't build on broken foundations. Real change needs destruction. I trust my God knows better than I okay. do. Okay. He knows truths I'll never learn. You got that right. I was sure. lost. I struggled as you do now. But the partisans of the lighted path have restored my faith in Aethys. What have greater they? honor than to march in his vanguard? Who are the partisans of the lighted path? We began as children of the Dawnstars. Separated from each other as we questioned our purpose. But then Aethys granted a vision to Gadarian Bosch. Oh, all right. Someone had a vision. Bosch saw an illuminated path lighting the way through a black abyss. And he Can't really say Aethys much, can I? Because our guy's pretty much. And Aethys bade him to march alongside. Not quite how I've been seeing it. Uh -huh. But everyone's open to their own interpretations. And the Absolutely. God told Gadarian Bosch to gather an army of the gods' truest followers. Hmm. And to prepare to lead it into battle. You'd think after getting blown up, he'd slow down on the battling. Who... Who does he intend to battle? I don't know. The end of the path hasn't been revealed to Gadarian Bosch yet. Or Until any part of the path, perhaps. Shouldn't matter. Has this Bosch shown proof of his visions? Aethys himself has appeared in Deadfire in the form Gadarian Bosch foretold. Oh, come on. That's more proof than any of his faithful Yeah, but if he knew about it from other islands... What fortune to be given this opportunity. To know our God in the living world. Ken, how are you going to join him? Great journey, but we are prepared. I'm going to steal ships or something. Way. And why did you lie to us about knowing Alpha? Those outside the partisans may ridicule us and test our faith, especially what? our old families. <laughs> and others close our to old them. families. We've learned it's best to keep to ourselves and those with open minds. Which relations and friends Keep to ourselves and those with open minds. Okay. Did you get what you needed? We can go. Okay, we'll be going. Hey, kid. What was your name again? Baron. Right. Baron. This lighted path fellow, Bosch. Sounds interesting. There's yeah. some way I can meet him. He's usually on the move, rallying followers. But the oh, they're in the, the Temple of Aethus. gather in the Temple of Aethus in Nekataka. 
I am seem to go there myself, in fact. There's an adherent there, Ogna, who initiates new partisans. No doubt she'd be pleased to help you. Aethys needs able soldiers. Right. Even in their elder years. You should consider what Ogna has to say. It might speak to you. Fair it might not. Yeah. Hmm. That's interesting. Now I feel like I want to go there. <laughs> right, well, let's let's go and at least make a start on this main quest line first. And then we'll maybe go there afterwards, as long as we've got a chance to. Because we probably have to go back to Neck Attack after meeting them anyway. So it kind of makes some sense. What was the island they're on again? And hopefully if we do things right, we won't have to fight too many of them. I hope. Right, so that quest, not the hunt for Aethys, not yet, but this one, the Wahaki tribe, it doesn't say where we're supposed to go, there was an island and I can't remember the name of it, let's see if it's on my list of islands, that was Oreo Koiki, that's where it is, so let's try. I'm not sure um, how well we'll do with this, but we may as well go here and try it. And that's not one of the bounties we've got. Okay. We've got to watch out for other ships coming and attacking us too, because there's certainly a lot of those around that might suddenly come for us without warning from out of the mists. May as well take that, whatever it is. Was oh, this the island here? There it is! Right, so before we go to their little village, we'll take some fresh fruit some water and get ready for a fight because no doubt they're not going to welcome us with open arms no doubt in my mind not initially at least if we get a chance to talk to one of them maybe maybe that'll help but well we'll see rather not wipe out an uncontacted group of people if I could help it but we'll see. Okay. Symbol. It looks like a variant of a, a variant of a lead and key symbol. This is a prudent time for me to explain something. Very well. I promised to tell you what I was doing among the animancers at Port Marge. As you uh -huh. have guessed, I was observing them. Gathering information on the various animancy operations in the region. Why? Animancy is a subject of particular interest to the Leaden Key. Yeah. Through it, I hope to pick up the trail. Okay, and then? That's where it gets complicated. After In what way? In Old Valia, I thought more about the Leaden Key and its particular composition. Go on. It's existed for over 2,000 years. Yeah. Say what you will about it. Theos kept it running. Rates, but that's an impressive tenure. I hope you got a while. Because I got lots to say about their motives and methods. Relax, yep. Adair. I'm not defending them. He certainly isn't. He's dropped that's them. When I realized how short sighted I've been. To think I could undo the leaden key without understanding how it works. Okay. I found references to an ancient leaden key cabal in the dead fire. Possibly one of the oldest, if accounts are credible. An old Leiden Key group. Independently, without direct intervention from Theos, for almost two millennia. Whoa. He turns back to a ruined Anglican Tower and some canoes. Yeah, it might be why. But twisted. Well, we were going to anyway, so... I don't think we're going to be welcomed here, though. Let's go this way first. Young woman steps to the edge of the cliff and peers down, wearing an amused grin. She fingers the curve of a you long hunting the bow. Jungle for animal hides, I say, and found yourself in an empty clearing. Uh huh. Kara, silence is wise. You turn yep. around. 
around and retraced your steps back to your ship, where it was safe. Like I just want to talk. Not if you cannot listen. If you came to blunt my teeth with chatter, where is... try to keep it short. I bring an offer of alliance from Onikazo the Second. We remember the old compact with the Nekataka. Oh, that was what she said. Do you have her treaty words? Over crumbling mountains across Achira. blighted seas. The queen must be desperate to send you, I say. Rosario yeah, quite possibly. You inside. Seeing as you've earned your way up from nuisance to guest, oh, find me we can trade with her. Trading. Okay, so she is not our enemy now, but might become that later. Uh, let's go this way. At least now, hopefully, when we're in here, we shouldn't be attacked. At least, hopefully not. Okay, what do we have around us? Obviously we can go up that... Uh, why does that happen? That lift. I just want to see if there's anything else here before I do. There might not be anything worth looking at, but... I feel like we should take a walk around first. Study the cliff. Gotta be Eder, because he's a bit better off. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Do we climb up? Um. Do we send someone to scout for a safe route? Is that a good idea? Who's going to be the best one to do this? Probably me. I don't know if we should have gone up here first, to be honest. It's the Oreo Koiki Sanctum. I'm not sure if that's somewhere we want to go. Well, let's find out. Let's just go in and see. I think we probably wanted to go the other way up the little lift. I think. Maybe this is a way you're supposed to use if you want to sneak in. In which case, hopefully I've not made any mistakes. Hopefully I'm not about to be attacked for sneaking in the back door. But we'll see. Although it looks like you probably would have had to have gone here. And this is a sneaky way in by the look of things. Well, let's not steal anything. Broad-shouldered woman on the throne lifts her gaze to meet mine. Her face paint. You don't suppose? Who knows? You are the outsider who dealt with Capea, but you do not take the front entrance. I am the no. Ranga of this tribe, and will not hesitate to send your soul through Tangaloa's maw if you threaten my people. I won't. Pleasure to make your you acquaintance. You have the gift of our hospitality during this audience. Do not abuse it. But will I won't. hospitality be returned? Well, in whatever way you'd like Queen it to. Sent you to remind us we are vassals. <laughs> Is that all? No. Mm. Queen Onik has a proposed an alliance. Queen. I am thinking you are very free with this meaningless outsider word. Foreigners hold the islands okay. upside down, shaking them to loosen their riches. That is true. Kaza gives them comfort. Akira, these are not the actions of a queen. You don't think she's just biding her time? Bah. Then she never should have let the foreigners take a step onto dead fire soil. You think the queen is cunning, but she is on the brink of losing her power. You're falling for the same trap that the foreigners are, aren't you? The Kahanka queen shows her belly so that the enemy will overlook her claws. This is a word yeah. tactic. Mm -hmm. Valia and Rawatai are foolish enough to fall for it. Exactly. Before I agree to Onakaza's terms, I must deal with a pest of my own. Pest of her own. Not as large as the trading companies, but nearly as vicious. You are knowing that the purchase of foreign slaves is allowed in the dead fire? I'm aware of it, yes. To buy and sell kith. 
is the I agree. Of monsters. Oh, lass. Few build suckers more monstrous than slave trading build suckers. Absolutely correct. These slavers hunt the waters around Oreo Kuiki. Oh, slavers. Like cowards, they shy away. Oh, I'll happily deal with them for you. They steal my people from their fishing boats and sell them like pigs at auction. Where is Onikaza to stop them? Someone well, that's why I'm here. Teach them the meaning of Wahaki vengeance, I say. Talking about Crookspur, I already dealt with them. Could this be true? Yeah. What say? If those parasites drew their final breaths, I would hear of it. He's dead, his business is finished. While Onikaza plays at diplomacy, we are the spear in the guts of our enemies. Yeah. Rawatayan warships circle Crooksburg, and the cries of bondage carry across the waves like the song of injured gulls. The dead fire company had plans Akira, for it. So they do. And we will throw our bodies in the path of their success. Onekaza will be disappointed to know that the Wahaki will not intercede on her behalf. Uh oh. Let me see. We feel hundreds of births and deaths within her, forming and disappearing like bubbles. We sift past them all. And what's this? Memory of a strange foreign man. When at last I seize it, I find myself in the same throne room, but the condition of the place and the memory of the host suggests it's many hundreds of years ago, if not more. See it on the dais. A man is brought before you dressed in stifling black robes. He reminds you of a corpse dressed for a funeral. He reminds you of something else too, but one of your attendants leads in and interrupts. He calls him Theosix Arcanon. Explain yourself, stranger. He smiles. Your Excellency, I come Theos. to warn your people. Your presence among these ruins is an affront to the gods. What? You must remove yourself, lest you face the gods' wrath. Interesting. The odd gods surely take their time. We've lived here 200 years and they've yet to raise an objection. The timeline of the gods is not for mortals to understand. Uh, it's always convenient but when they say things like that. Shall wear thin, especially after this warning. Right. What ungrateful guest of Victus's hosts. <laughs> we surprise him. People cling tightly to their history. Absolutely. But where are these designs among your arts? Where is the carved Adra in your wooden huts? These Why would they carve the Adra? By the Wana, but by an ancient people from a distant land. So? <laughs> What's this? His words are a lie. Like the very best lies, they contain the shadow of truth. Everyone knows foreigners once lived among your people's guests, but they've not been seen in 200 years. They're living underneath the ground. The murals in these places and the stories of our ancestors tell it differently. How would you know our history better than our grandfathers? I have seen your murals, and I know that you will recognize this. Uh, a helm with two horn-like protrusions and a mask. It was my people who built these places, and now I come before you bearing their warning. At least that much is true. I turn to my guards. Seize him! Just look of surprise appears in his face. The ancient Ranga's memory skips ahead. I'm looking at Theos again. This time he and a score of robed men and women are bound among peat and wood, and he's staring in disbelieving fury. I've gathered people and told them the foreigners before them are the same ones who came to the island centuries ago, and now your people are angry and frightened too because every Wahaki remembers the story of how these foreigners abused the hospitality of their Juana hosts. So great was their iniquity that the gods destroyed the great city of Okaizo and many others besides. Watch now as I wipe their stain from among us. People cheer, Theos struggles and yells, his words are drowned out. Let's never forget this foreigner's a trickster and his people a plague. From this day forward we must be vigilant, let us root out such foreigners and keep our lands pure of their wickedness, she says. Triumph cheers louder than ever, change comes over Theos, the struggle leaves his body and rage departs his face. One of my attendants offers me a torch and I throw it in the pyre. Theos doesn't scream, he just... Smiles. Why do you stare so? Why do I stare so? I will tell you. Come no closer, outsider. I do not speak to outsiders without Ruasare's permission. Ruasare expects you. Okay, so it would appear that 
back away. That rusted wreck is a work in progress. Speak with Rosari, she'll deal with me. Well, she has, but I don't think she's going to help me. Okay, well, that was that didn't go according to plan, I would say. Back there with the chieftain. Did you see something? Yeah. I certainly did. Cause no trouble in watching. I think we made a mistake there, didn't we? Because we let the... Or they let the Valians... Take over that island. But there's definitely something here with regard to the Leaden Key. I wonder if I should have led with that, you know? Asking them about the Leaden Key. There's no one to talk to. And she won't talk to us, she decided she wants nothing to do with us. Or the Queen. So now I'm a bit lost. Where do we go now? Let's take a look at the map. Because I can leave through the chieftain's bedchamber. I don't want to. It's this place. That mural. That's the same headdress Theos wore. Let's examine this brazier. So they're suggesting we blow that up. I'll take care. That's Theos. Do I really want to do this? Uh, let's plant a grenade. When's it? When the brazier's lit, this will surely explode. Have I just done something really stupid? I don't want to go out yet. I feel like there is something to learn here. I'm not sure we want to use actually the... I think the other bomb that we had the option of would probably be better. Uh, remove that bomb. Place a different bomb. Cinder bomb. I don't really know what good that's going to do anyone. Probably none. I'm going to go and speak to this person again. I'd be interested to know if they know more about Theos. She won't talk to us though, so it's impossible. Come no closer, outsider. The temple's not for us, I hear of wonders outside. Speak to Rosari. Doesn't speak without her permission. Not no peace till we leave the dead fire. And there's nothing. I'll take care of this. Okay, let's look at the fruit. Let's place an infested Koiki there. I don't know what good that's really going to do me. Let's not steal anything while we're visible. Maybe we can hang around until evening. I wonder if that'll make a difference to anything. Yeah, let's wait a few hours. What are we? Let's say we wait till... Let's wait till pre-dawn and see if anything changes. Like what I want to do is wait until she's no longer sitting there. And see if she eats the fruit. I'll tell you what, let's try... Going at like that hour. Closer to midnight and just see if there's anything changing. Looks like. Come no closer, 
outside. Looks like we missed something. But I don't know what. I'll help. What do we do? Hang around and see if she goes in there at some point. It doesn't look like anyone's lit that brazier either. That uh, thing next to that door. We could just kill them all. <laughs> but I feel like I don't want to do that just yet. Okay. I don't know what good this does though. Is there anything? I'll take care of it. There's definitely something about Theos here. And I don't know what the way to solve that is. Do we wait here and see if anybody comes along? Why are we... Let's just go forward a couple hours. Nobody's gone there yet. Is she still awake? Or has she gone to sleep? Maybe she sleeps during the day. Nope, she's still on her throne. Although, interestingly, she was getting up and down. Let's wait here. I'm going to try going at, like, midday just to see what happens that way. But if nothing's happening, she's going to be on her throne again, I'm sure of it. Yeah, she's not going to talk to us. So while there may be some kind of secret here, down in the depths, I can't get access to it. Let's see what's out in like the town or whatever, the, the rest of the, ta the area. But regardless, we've ruined our chances of getting them as allies. So when I suggest they're unlikely allies or whatever, very unlikely, is the answer to that. Very, very unlikely. Oh, what's this? Maybe the spear's a gift for us? Silence. Doubtful. The outsider must leave. Oil Koiki will not be parceled off and bought with foreign lies. That's not what we're planning on doing. Where is your confidence in Aranga? Take it there's a problem. You are the problem. We do not track dirt in our home. We are no better than the outsiders if our Mataru act like inhospitable savages. Where is True. the courtesy and welcome of the Wahaki? If you have such <laughs> love for outsiders, let this one speak for himself. I'm a watcher. The there. gods brought me here. Would you deny Burapu first favorable omen of the season? Okay. If the outsider turns on us, I say I will drag you through Tangaloa's maw with me. For all our sake, Fair enough. may I be proven wrong. On behalf of those who remember our manners, welcome to Oreo Koiki. Is there usually much infighting? Kira, I say circumstances have made us rough around the edges. Outside it appears to be the case. Nets, torches. They do not come to talk. Why are the Wahaki so protective of their land? land? That the trading companies have not stolen out from under Anakaz's throne. The islands will fall if the tribes do not recall our past in Ngadi's covenant. Ngadi's covenant? Ngadi bade her followers to protect the islands, the tribes, and the luminous Adra. For this, she gave us the power it's fair. to shape her. And all these people want to steal it. If we fail in our charges, the birthright of the Huana disappears. The Wahaki fair enough. remember this. The Kahanga? They forget. That's my other yes. questions. I am pleased to be making a new friend. What can you tell me about Rosari? And the strength of our tribe. I have She's never certainly seen strong. Her a mouthful of Koiki. Even in battle, she wears a bandolier of fruit. A spirit oh, hi. passionate and very hungry woman is my Rosari. Okay, and are you and her married? 
How the outsiders enjoy their vows. Oh, they don't. We don't want to pair off, but we need no documents or witnesses. When it strikes Rosario's okay. fancy that we should sleep under one roof, we do so vigorously. Some think cool. I influence her judgment, but they have the wrong of it. My back is <laughs> too fragile for the weight of authority, I say. Okay, well, thanks for talking to us. They protect the island from people like me. They don't know who I am, but they've decided that that's the case. There's a lion there. None of these are people we can speak to. I'm just interested to know if there's anything relating to Theos here. That's obviously the way down to the other side of that lift. I feel like I'm wasting my time here, to be honest. Only trouble is, I really want to find out about this lead and key link here. Now that we know there is one. I don't think there's anything here that's going to lead us to them, is there? That's the person I'd like to trade. I'm the only one who trades with outsiders. Well, you were going to kill us earlier. Well, that was just nonsense. Did I have anything I could sell to her? Hmm, I don't want to sell that just yet. She can have that, though. I mean, I've got plenty of cash in the thing anyway, so... I don't need any more. But I feel like we can sell her some stuff that we don't need. Like, she can have 13 coral nagabos. Sure, she might like them. She can have three shields. Let me see what else. Oh, she can have these as well. This will definitely help help them battle off the outsiders. <laughs> in case they try and form the NWO in the middle of their village. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, we're not going to get an awful lot more, I don't think. Maybe they'd like some Naga swords. Well, I've got 4,000 for it. You can have that, and you can have that, and you can have that. And that. And that cannon's not very good. Three crossbows? No. Let's find anything we've got singles of, though, that we don't need. Because we can fill that space up on their little thing. No, I don't need that. We can have some animals. <laughs> they might make better use of them than us. I'm sure they won't be harmful. Some books here that we've seen as well that I don't really need to keep. That can go. I think we're probably pretty much done, to be honest. 18,000 we got from that. What's Kuaru's prize? Nothing useful. I think we're done for now. I don't really think there's much else we can do here. Unless we can find a way to look into the lead and key link. No one's going to talk to us. There's a boar there. I really need to know... What's Did happening with this? Paint? What about it? I don't know, do we leave now? We'll go back into their thing one more time. 
my sister returns grinning with accomplishment and speaking your name. Well done, outsider. Why are the Wahaki so protective of the land? Why so much concern over the past? When cataclysm scoured the dead fire. Somewhere among the islands, there's a place where we... Ikira, my apologies, but I should say no more. Somewhere among the islands, there's a place where they did something. To be making... Okay. That might be getting us somewhere. Somewhere among the islands... There's a place where they did something they don't want to tell outsiders about. Something to do with the lead and key, perhaps. But I'm looking at that painting of Theos on the wall and thinking... That that might not be just a... Passage. Nobody's blown up yet. I think we have to go outside. And when I think about it, I should have gone the other way to get out of here as well. She still sits on her throne. Come no closer, outsider. But she doesn't want to talk to us, so there's nothing we can do here. There's no way for us to get through the whole Theos situation if we can't go there. So we may as well just leave. Exit Oreo Koiki. Maybe we'll take a quick look around the surrounding areas and just see if there's any odd little islands or things on islands. Things which might tell us what the lead and key have to do with anything here. Because that's drawn my attention. Just climb down. There we go. That's that dealt with. None, none of the these people appear to hide to stay here, and there's not really much else for us to do. I'll help. Nothing of interest there, or there. It's really quite an empty place. But this is interesting. Lead and key symbols. Can't use one of these boats, can I, to travel anywhere? No. But maybe we can take a look around because there's more to this island than just that. There could be more around the island too. It certainly looks like Aloth's quest might lead us here. In some way. But I didn't see anything else of any interest in the area. There's a ship there, a shipwreck. But again, nothing much of any interest around it. Let's take a quick look here. Let's just take a look at this shipwreck. Getting a decent amount of stuff out of it. Now that ship's cleared. I just want to take a quick look around the island around here, just because the way they were talking almost makes me think there's something else in the area that might be of interest. We'll take a brief sail around. I don't see anything though. I'm guessing we've done completely the wrong things there. And at this stage there's really no coming back from that. Well, I'll take that. Let's take a look at the world map, see how far up we are. Well, let's go north and just reach the edge of the map. There's the edge of the map. What's this? Here's an island. A shipwreck on the island. Some palm slats. 
Oh, this looks promising. Is there anything actually here though? No, it looks like there's something over there. Let's have a quick look and see what it is. Just out of interest. There's a village there. Yunvik village. And there's the Drowned Barrows. Let's take a look at this shipwreck. Didn't get much out of that. I got a cannon that's not of any interest. And some sort of Royal Deadfire Company items. Let's take a quick look around us. The Drowned Barrows. Can I not go in there? It is a village we can go into. I don't think this is somewhere we're supposed to be going though. Right now at least. Quick check. I said Some no sort of people. The drowned barrows are closed. If you want drowned to barrows. Sun, you can offer yourself to Nemnok next season. What's going on? An outlander. Yeah, an outlander. Business. None of yours. Our elders Fair enough. The land bridge to protect their children. You disgrace their memory feeding our young to the mountain Anik. Nemnok will release my son or or perish. What happened to your son? Ali sacrificed himself for the good of the tribe, right, Tatok? Ah. Uh, I lived a full life in the I don't know what this place is. Kali deserves the same. If you reject Nemnok's accord, then you are truly lost. Right. Ma he spits on Nemnok. Whoever Nemnok is. This ink must have leaked through Anik's skull if she thinks I'll stand idly by. Then in for a better look at the engraving. Nas attack language. <laughs> Curses. Ah, there goes the rest of my day. What do you want, Outlander? What was the argument about? Shifton offered my colleague to the drowned barrows. Nemnok accepted him and what's Nemnok? god of the island a probably a dragon terror of a being but kind to us when we follow the rules a false god you mean he's not probably perfect, but he's our god lass his likeness is the okay. most any of us have seen we only meet his ogre minions who guard the isle i've heard nothing about a new god this might be a closer look not sure takes like a god he demands hmm. readers, scribes, anyone hand you. Okay. Did you say you'd go to the mountain of power? Uh, well, I didn't say that, but I suppose I could. Gems, items of power, if such things interest you. I'll look for Kali when I'm there. Next time it'll be Nemnok who pays. So Nemnok the Devourer. I feel like we probably shouldn't Outsider. do this. You come for food? No thanks. I feel like we shouldn't do this because we're going to cause all sorts of problems by doing things this tribe doesn't want us to do. But it's something interesting to do. A little bit of a diversion. So I'd be interested to take a look. Plus it doesn't look like it's a particularly difficult dungeon either. So why not? Even though I'd say it's definitely not a place that we're supposed to be going in the storyline right now. Okay, so we're heading to the Drowned Barrows. A mountain commands the northern horizon, its cliff face the likeness of a rotted skull. Uh, do we step through the mouth or climb to the eyes?
Okay, uh, let's use the rope and grappling hook because it'll be safer. I don't know if going into the eyes was the best option. And even less so going into the left eye, it could be the right eye, it could be... who knows. But if it's a fight we want, it's probably what we're going to get. Let's prove that they're... Nemnok or whatever, isn't a god. I've got a good feeling about this. Yeah, I've got a good feeling about it too, Edir. Watch this. I already told those Aeots and Clods were at capacity. For we're at capacity for scribes and acolytes. We aren't accepting new recruits. Now go. Our progress wallows as you degrade. Sorry, I'm new here. Should I be in the right I'll eye? Tell you exactly where to go. This mountain has no rear end. Only Nemnox chose right, okay. to go here. And we're all full up. Nemnox, the god of this place, right? And god of the tribe. We have the honor to serve as his scribes, researchers, and translators. The Aeton just makes sure our work is swift and efficient. Why does he need scribes? Nemnok loves nothing above arcane scrolls and wizards. Oh, does he? But the mighty one cannot be bothered to pour over every document. He is so they labor for him. Shall we say immune to literacy? And who exactly put him in charge? Nemnok <laughs> yeah. takes power, Elf. He came from humble beginnings. Or not a favor was granted him. I'm looking for Kali. Nemnok fawns over him in the lower sanctum. Only acolytes, okay. elders, and Naga go down there, and any of them chew you to pieces. Couldn't see it in your heart to let me through. Spasm of unreason compels you to ask this. No. Let's find that. It's a fight they want. It's a fight they'll get. Yeah, this one now. They're Scriveners. And that one's a Warlock. Well, we may as well fight our way through and kill everybody, why not? If we're lucky because we haven't been seen doing that, maybe we won't have to fight people next time. Except we're going to places we're not supposed to go, so... I don't mind me, I just want to loot the place and see what's around. Now, where would... Where would a false god keep himself? Drowned Barrows, that's the way down. Take a look on the other side. Maybe this is the other eye. Oh, it's an ogre! No trouble for me. There we go. Do you think they'd run away when they realised that we could kill the ogres? You would think. Take all that stuff. See what's down here first. Hey, watch it. Couple of guards. Onward. Take him down. It might be better to go for that guy there first, actually. Ah, oh, we got troll, ogre, whatever you want to call him. Take that one first. His magic's going to be annoying. And now take him. Not doing a lot of damage to us. And he just exploded in a ball of lightning. Nice. I think we're okay to keep walking around. That's a trap. Right there. Cannot believe you just did that. Amateurs. What's this? Sulfur bubbles popping up from that pool. Right, there's there's explosive traps on both of these, it would appear. And no way to stop them from bursting open. We're okay. Ah, oh, no, I'm going to need to... I'm 
gonna need to rest because it looks like I might die in a minute if I'm not careful. Let's wake Shorty. Breaking this the first time I ever bore witness to my own demise. It oh, was nasty. I woke with such a driving need for reaping before. It's making my hands shake. Endure it, we need all the presage we can get. Oh, I plan to. Gone seems the more souls I gather, the better I see Gone's will. And the less I get a wink of sleep. Maybe you should release the souls. I mean to. Eventually. Us Gonites. Hmm. We're supposed to shepherd lost souls, not just gather them. If I were to dump the souls, it might make me dream less. Maybe it'd just make it all worse. She's got to find her purpose. Sure. I was hoping you might would. Sometimes I feel like, with you by my side, I can stand against gods. We can find an Adravine and do it. Potent source to overpower the draw of my lantern. And that's one. It's got to be luminous. But what about the itty bitty issue regarding the god of rebirth not actually being in hell? The souls will make it safely. This is well, a huge risk of Aora's back gone aside. We'll deal with the that. Past actions don't instill me with the greatest confidence. Okay. I think my duty to Gon's a little more important than my personal comfort, don't you? I, can't I don't just know. Abandon <laughs> my souls, not to mention my principles and hope for the best. What do you think it's like I, for the souls? I don't know. You don't know because you've never been in there. You can't be aware, surely. Keeping them will make you a better priestess, I suppose. You think I should keep reaping all throughout the darkness to keep the souls be for now. in the lantern until the world's but I wonder how many would be alive to see to it then? Who knows? Let me dream on it and see. Let her dream on it. I think dreaming on it is the thing that's caused her most of her problems. I need to check something because Oh, because he's not got anything that's healing him. I'm going to give them fresh fruit back again, because that was helping them heal at least. Yeah, all injuries gone. But we're about to get hurt again. Man, it did put some injuries on us. Oh, we're about to set off. I'm just looking to see how much damage that's done. Okay, well we're okay, but we're going to have to rest again. There we go. Now what's over this way? Is this the way back in? Is this the way in from the other side? Yeah, this is the other eye. So, one more place to go and that's down. We'll clear this out. Get rid of this so-called god that they have. This ogre. I mean, I, I guess it'll be an ogre. Or maybe it'll be something worse than an ogre. Oh, we haven't gone in here yet. Not that there was anything to find, but... There's a note of some kind. What does that say? Is that it there? Canuck's memo. Eight and Claude accidentally kicked the switch to the master's private storage room. Took the liberty of pushing some barrels of lamp oil against the switch. Lamp oil barrels. Did we find anything like that? I don't think we did, did we? There's some barrels over there. A switch that gets to his sanctum. Let's take a quick look just to see if there was anything like that that we missed. No, there isn't. Never mind. Right, downstairs it is. Into the mouth. Of madness? Not sure. But regardless, it's downstairs we go. Was this into the drowned barrows proper?
Who knows what other traps we might find. It's odd that we're not noticing them, but they are explosives, maybe? Or they might be very high-level traps. I'm a little concerned that staying here, we might get killed by them. Very easily. <laughs> I do know is we're probably going to be attacked down here very quickly. Or not. The season of harvest is here. Oh, there we go. We've got, we've got fights on our hands. Including a guard in these barrows. Oh yeah, that's a bit more difficult. Look, there's a lot of them there. Including this guy. This might be a little more difficult. Take this ogre out first, or the Aeton. Now take out this warlock. Quickly. Now this one. We've been paralysed. Turned to stone by the look of things. And now he goes. We were alright. No injuries. It's the most important thing. So is this their god? Estoc. Not much there. Looks like trouble. Might as well see if it is. I think it probably is as well. Hello everybody. That one next. He went down pretty fast. There we go. Another Eaton dead. A lot of fairly worthless enemies to be honest. There we go. It's another fight they want. He's healing himself while we're attacking him. But not strongly enough to do any good. What's that? It might be the way into his sanctum. I'm assuming this is the way out. Yeah, that's the way out. We don't need that right now. There's only really one other way we can go. We'll make that two. Does that take us into that? That takes us into that room. Oh no it doesn't. It takes us into another... Another room like that. Wondering which room I want to go into. Well, we're going in this one now, so. And it's full of Nagas. This is, is the enemy that we're looking for a Naga? Take the archer. And then the other one. Oh, we didn't kill him yet. It's interesting though, we blew that one up in one hit. I don't even know if this is where we're, where we're wanting to go. But interestingly, a lot of Nagas around. Very interesting. That's a forge. Another Naga there. Again, not a lot to worry about with the Nagas. Very easy to deal with. And a fight. It, it's a fight it'll be wanting. Done. I'm wondering what we're going to find. 
deeper we go in. There's a bridge there. Ready to brawl. And a troll here, or, or sorry, an ogre. He's got his back to us. Our Neaton, is it different from an ogre? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's dead. Some sort of distillation experiment gone wrong. Interesting. What's across this bridge? Nothing. Uh oh. Oops. Oh, now this might be the... Oh my. Right, let's just not do that. I get the feeling... No, no. Oh. Right, we've done something, but there's traps everywhere here. So I don't know how safe it is for us to go over there, to be honest. What's that I need to interact with? Okay. And that, it would appear. I don't suppose we could rest a spell. Yeah, I think we probably could. Even though we've done it like a million times recently. This is the guy's sanctum, their so-called god. It might just be a an ogre or something, you know. Claiming to be something he's not. Could be a dragon. We've certainly faced a few of those. Guess we'll find out. It's a hidden study. Alright, well this wasn't what I thought. Of. But, you know. Doesn't hurt to take a look. Clearly that's not actually... I thought that was going to be more than it was. But it wasn't anything in the end. Really. It's taken an entirely different turn. We ended up infiltrating... Oh my, get out of here quick. Yeah, I need to rest again, I'm afraid. The trouble is, if you have three injuries and then you get killed, then you're dead permanently, and I don't really want Seraphim to die permanently. I don't want any of them to. I'd rather keep everyone alive if I can. Right, there was another door up here. Which is the only place we've not been to at this stage. Keep your eye open. If you want to deal with that trap. Uh oh. Can we deal with these, please? If they do serious damage to us. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh my word. Well, this isn't a good idea. How are we going to destroy that? What for, I need somebody who hmm? only uses... Okay, um... Is there any way that I can just use a spell and nothing else? Oh, I know. Let's see what happens if I cast that there. What does that do? Absolutely destroys that. Perfect. That's what we want. 
I don't know if I can cast another spell of that type. Well, I can cast a... Oh no, I can cast it again. Should work. The first one was destroyed by it, so... Hopefully the second one will be as well. It was. And with that, we've resolved... problems. I think those traps might be. I'm oh, that'd be some other trap, didn't there? Need to rest. Whatever that was, we've opened a door. I feel like I want to save my game here before we go any further. No, just saving that one. Because obviously we're going to face whatever their so called god is. I'm going to keep calling it a so-called god until, you know, such a time as I know what it actually is. It could be one of the gods in, in a living form. Kind of messing with some people. Did they do that? Not dressed for the occasion, he says. So he must be up there. Go no further. We got a fight, unfortunately. Oh, this is not a bad, this is not a good idea. I can see already how bad an idea this fight is. That is Nemnok. Or is it? Whatever it is, kill it. There is, that's Nemnok. Kill him! Yeah, I think we're gonna get killed. Just as well save my game before we went here. Yeah, we're losing people left, right and center. Can we break through to him? I think we made the wrong decision here. Yeah, Nemnok the Devourer is way beyond us. some of this stuff. Okay. Now him. We might have lost Seraphim permanently there is the only thing I'm worried about. Kill him. There's still a Naga there. Naga. I don't know. See, the thing I'm worried about is I'm pretty sure I've just lost Seraphim, like permanently. So I might reload my game. Oh, did he lose his amulet? Oh, poor man, he lost his amulet. Is this the amulet of douchebaggery? Kill him. Yeah, we're all gonna die. I'm pretty sure. Well, take him. We're so close. I can't do any attacks on him. Maybe we'll be okay as long as we can kill him. Close. I think we might have him because we keep knocking him down. I don't even know what he is. Some sort of demon? Whatever he is, he's not strong. He's close to death though. There he is. Now he dies. As fizzling energy dissipates and dust of battle clears, all that remains is an amulet and an injured imp. No, no, oh, he's just no, an imp. No. 
What just happened? Amulet made Nemnok smart. Smart enough to read magic books. All gone. That nasty oh, that's a shame. Never taught imps to read. Archimir is in charge of this, is he? Nemnok stole his pretty jewel. Learn to Nemnok said. Yeah. Someday he fly back and free the others. Give them books too. Just get rid of him. What? Kill him. You shamed mighty Nemnok. Go back to your father. There's nothing for you here. There's a whole world of people out there been let down by the gods. Yeah, and he's not a god, he's a an imp. Tell you what I am gonna do. We definitely need to rest if we can. I think he's going to need something pretty serious to help his injuries. I'm just trying to think what there is that might help him. Maybe we can't rest yet, but we will be able to shortly. Ooh, Veil Piercer, that looks like an interesting bow. Anyway, it's clear that Nemnok was nothing but a trickster. Right, can we rest yet? He has a lot of injuries. I need to find something that will take away his injuries. Actually, the, um... I don't have any. Don't want a forbidden flesh pie. Has somebody been eating them? I'm sure I had more than two of them before. Who's been eating them? <laughs> well, do you know, we had the, the shark thing before, and that would have actually helped. No, not poisons. Defensive potions. No, that's not going to help me. They're not offensive potions either. Candied nuts. It's not much help to me. Right, well. What's clear is we cleared it. The trouble I'm, I'm looking at. Oh, wait. Do I not have enough of stuff? Is that what the problem is? Yeah, I have no fresh fruit left, so I can't give anybody fresh fruit. I'm giving the tar loaf, though. That's better than nothing. That's not what I chose. I don't understand. Right, let's see. See if this helps. That's better. No more injuries for old Seraphin. We're good. Now we can go home. Well, away. See if we can get through this village. Without them slaughtering us. You've killed our god. He wasn't a god, he was an imp. With an amulet. He was a trickster. Now they'll be like, what have you done? You've killed him. Humbled him, in fact. Yeah. He wasn't a particularly difficult uh, opponent, was he? Hmm. 
Ah, uh, we have to pass. See, we have to pass through this village again to to get where we're going. They're gonna attack us, or maybe they'll leave us alone. Or they'll, maybe they'll think because we killed their god, they have to worship us, which we don't want. Hopefully, that's not what they do. But you know, as it turned out, their little guy was nobody. Nobody. Let's see what happens. My son returns. The barrow spat him out. Father. Yeah. Whatever Happy to help. Says you all welcome among the Judvik. The plate was meant for Kali, but I see now he has no taste for it. He's a priest in training. Awesome. See you later. How do other people feel about the fact that I've killed their god? Outsider, you come for. No one else seems to care. I'll have your wolf, thanks. Seriously, that is one thing I've noticed. These guys, they go around just stealing people's pets. There's another one. And Nemnok's dead. Nemnok is no more. You steal from the Junvik. Uh huh. Or maybe Nemnok was stealing from the Junvik. Regardless, let's go. I think we've got to go back to Nekataka now. Initially I thought there would be something around about that island where those guys were that would help us, but there really wasn't. Short of slaughtering them all and checking it out. Well, you know, she did say that they might they might dislike us. And they might not talk to us and they might not help us. So we could go back and just attack them all. Let's have a look at the world map. We're right up here in the top of the top of the world. Let's a quick look at what else is up here. In this corner of the earth of the dead fire. I don't think it goes very much further anyway. I just feel like I want to clear the corner of the map just because here we are. Boots suck bog. Outcast respite. A lot of interesting places here. Obviously, as we go by that as well, we're learning of new places. Need to watch out for ships coming to attack us, though. Not that anything there looks extremely difficult, but... Now let's head back towards Oriokuiki. We're going to go back. We're going to try and find out what the situation is with the uh, leaden key there, I think. Even though it's probably not a good idea. Well, two of my crew members are playing a game. I don't want to join them again. Every time I do this, I lose. Maybe next time. I'm not in the mood to play games right now is a little odd I suppose right there's Oreo Kuiki I'm gonna go back and just see what happens I feel like we could probably destroy them but I would feel a little bad for doing it Ooh, we're really low on water on our ship. Wait a minute. Of drinks of any kind. We're getting low on food too. Just 
to fill up their coffers with uh, drinks of a variety of types. Milk. Because they might want that. I'm aware that there's a human meat pie there and we're going to try not to not to let that be a situation if we can help it. As in, don't put it in amongst all the food for them. Because they shouldn't eat the, those. I'm going to go back as well because I'm interested to see if those things that I did where I put like something on the fire and I put something in her food I want to see what that's done if anything because I need to know what their link is I don't think we can use that uh, elevator anymore been pulled up to stop us. So the only way is to climb up. Risk climbing up again. What was that? Something didn't oh we already did that, okay. Alright, we'll try going up one more time. Again, if I go up to look for the safer route, we'll be fine. So one last time, we're going to go in here and talk to them. Try to talk to them. They won't talk to us. I know we left that tainted koiki. And I'm wondering if that'll have done anything in the time we've been away. Probably not. <laughs> Maybe she'll feel a little bit ill. Let's see. Well, she is still on her throne, and I'm guessing she still won't talk Come to us. No closer, I do not speak to outsiders without Rosario's permission. Yeah, she did expect me. She spoke to me and. Did nothing for me. Did we just start attacking them just for fun? Have I been there? Yeah, I have been there, but... Hmm. Have another look around. I don't want to take anything. I do want to see what's there. These are just scrolls, and I don't want to steal all their scrolls. Those are all apprentices who aren't going to speak to me. Did I go here? And that's a villager. I feel like if I attack them though, I'm just going to do not pick the blighted koiki very bad. I find there is blighted koiki in your lady's food. I'm going to guess that this explosive hasn't gone off either. Of course not. Something about Theos here. Ah, oh, do you know what? No, wait a minute, let me check my journal for this quest for... for him anyway. Hmm, actually not anything there. Okay, well, we may as well go back now. Oh, hang on. 
That's not coming up as a task, maybe, is it? The one? No, nothing about their links to Theos is of any interest, apparently. So let's just get out of here. Fast as we can. We're getting no help. What are you needing from me? What are Wait. you needing from me? She is our rock. I have a spirited passion. Nah, there's nothing there to discuss. Just leave. Keep out of my way, outsider. That person doesn't like me. In all honesty, none of them do. <laughs> it didn't the moment we got here. And that's the woman we could buy things from. But doesn't really matter now. We take the lift to the ground. And there's nothing else to do here now. We've worn out our welcome. But you know, I don't... Yeah, there was links with the lead and key, but I don't think... They were doing any of the same things. By the looks of them. They didn't even know much about the whole situation, by the look of things. Did they? It didn't look like they did. To me. I don't know. Who knows? What I do know is we can leave now. But maybe... You know, because we've, like, poisoned her. It's a slow-acting situation where poison might start to play some kind of part. I just want to see... Before I start making the journey to... Nekataka. It's a plague ship, we're just going to leave that alone. Went to one of them before and decided the best option was to leave it alone. Okay, that doesn't look like a good place to try and go to. Let's be careful of where I'm going as well. So we'll go a little further this way. Just to see what all's around. Really just some treacherous waters that we can't really enter. That's a very dangerous area. See, we can't go round that at all. It's interesting. It's up towards the Ashen Maw. Right, let's just go. Straight down. Just want to clear those clouds. Because why not? Razai Passage, there's a storm there that we want to avoid. If we can, these big dark areas are the storms. They were in Magrin's teeth. Which is to say that's towards towards the Ashen Maw, but we're not going there quite yet. Storm nearby, which we want to avoid if we can. I feel like this is the thing to do, just clear all this nonsense. Crew members arguing on the deck. What about? Let's check the fish for signs of disease. The fish go in the sea. And we're off. We need to definitely buy some more supplies for the ship at some point soon. Preferably supplies that actually help keep 
the morale up. Because I realised that basic rations and water are not preferred. Mm. To Kabna. I'm just going to go down this way and then towards Nekataka. All we can do in neck attack it anyways. Right, we may as well just mark it and go. Outcast respite, Where, where's that? Oh, was that one of the places we looked at up there? Yeah, that was that place right up in the far reaches of the map. Which is not where we're wanting to go. The neck attack it is. At least that clears up some good portions of this map. Who's this? There's a vessel coming through there. But he's gone. There he is. This see why the shark? No idea. Doesn't really matter. Let's go here because I think we're almost at Negataka. Yes. Right, so the only place we can really go is up to the rooftop of Kahanga Palace and say, sorry, we tried. But they didn't like the fact that the people were at um at that slaver island. Nothing I could do to change their mind. I guess. We did a nice bit of exploring of the world though. Met some other interesting fights. Some that were very close to taking us out. Okay. Bad news I'm afraid. My scouts tell me that you sail from Oriokoiki. I assume you do not have a Wahaki gesture of fealty to lay at my feet? The Wahaki will not be joining us. For what do you bring me foul omens? We need to be stronger than this, I say. They should have come to us but first. Yeah, unless they felt unwelcome in a court full of strangers, and Gati frowns on the Kahanga. This was a trial, a test of our fealty to the old ways. I will exactly. not fail her twice. A queen's work is not She's ready for the next fortune, trial. And I am ready for her next trial. Prayer and the wisdom of Kohopa will help steer my next course. I'll, I'll send for you in time. in time. Speak freely, Herald of Bereth. How am I supposed to... Okay, well, there's nothing more we can do for her. But that doesn't help me with this. I don't know if we can make it to here. Without their help. Uh, Shane's got a luminous Adra pillar. Um, just trying to think where would be best to go to. The lighthouse at Hasongo. Well, that's what we're going to do. And that's a job for next time, I think. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this again. Uh, if you have, please feel free to hit that follow button there uh, on Mixer. And if you're watching me on YouTube at the Supernotus channel uh, and you're enjoying what you see, please feel free to drop a like and maybe a subscription too if you like. Uh, for now, though, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Good night. Eventually.